Hello, my name is Brad, and I'm an automation engineer here at Axis New England. Today we'll be using the Omron NJ301 machine controller and the Sysmac automation platform to get your automation project moving in just three minutes. To demonstrate how simple it is to go from a blank canvas to motion, we have an Omron 1S servo drive and motor connected to a linear ball screw actuator. All you need to do is plug your PLC into your drive using the high-speed EtherCAT connection and then connect the NJ to your computer via the Ethernet port. Now that we're all wired together, let's open up Sysmac Studio and connect to our motion system. There are four main sections of Sysmac Studio that I would like to point out before we get started. The toolbar, multi-view explorer, program window, and the toolbox. The toolbar lets you connect and transfer projects to the NJ. Directly under your toolbar is your multi-view explorer tree where you can navigate through the configuration and programming sections. In the center of the screen is the work window where all the manipulation to programs and settings will be done. Lastly, on the far right side of the screen, we have the toolbox where all of your programming function blocks can be easily located and dropped into your work window. Now that we're connected, let's configure the EtherCAT network so that our software reflects the live setup. We can see now that our master controller, the NJ, and the connected device, the 1S drive, is in the same configuration as we have in front of us. In order to program control, we need to create a motion axis. Be sure to go offline when making any changes to your program or to restrict you from making changes to the saved program. Once the drive is assigned, we can see a new node. If we click on this new axis, we can see that all our motor information has been automatically imported into the NJ setup. Lastly, we are going to manipulate the axis settings because we have an actuator with a pitched ball screw attached to our motor, which changes things like your work travel distance and your max velocity. Now we're ready to program. We first are going to create a rung to power up our motor. To do so, I will create a virtual push button so I can turn the power on and off as we go. Then I can go into our motion control tab in our toolbox and add a motion control power function block. I add my axis and we are ready to power up our system. Next, I will create a simple linear move function. Again, I'm going to add a simple push button so that we can stop or start the move as we please. I will go back into my toolbox and add a motion control linear move function block. This allows me to move the motor in one direction based on distance, velocity, and acceleration. I add the axis I want to move, and then I simply add values for how far and how fast I want the actuator to move. For this, let's pick 40 millimeters a second and a distance about 120 millimeters since we have a pretty small actuator to work with. Once these parameters have been set, we go back online and transfer our program. We are now fully functional with no errors and we are ready to move. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed our quick video and we look forward to helping you with your next automation project.